Okay guys, in this video I will discuss about the bolted unstiffened end plate moment connection versus bolted stiffened end plate moment connection. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so let's start. So in case if you are new to this channel, I am assuming that you do not have a clear conception about shear connection and moment connection. In that case, you can go to this video in my playlist and you can have a detailed uh, conception about the shear connection and moment connection. So for the time being, I am just discussing about the moment connection in brief. In moment connection, what happened? You simply connect the flanges of the beam with the flange of the column by using either bolt or simply weld. And in both the cases, what you do, you simply take the help of an external plate that is known as the end plate. Okay. Why it is end plate? Because at the end of this beam, you simply weld it and then you connect this plate with the flange of this column by using bolt. Okay. So, this is the very basic about the end plate moment connection. Okay. Now, this type of end plate moment connection can be of two types. Here you can see this is the beam, this is the column flange and here we are connecting this beam flange with this column flange by using this end plate. Okay. So, here this is the end plate. Right. Okay. Now, here you can see that the end plate in this picture, it has some stiffener like this both at the top as well as the bottom or it can be uh, that there is only stiffener at the top okay or only at the bottom based on your forces that is coming due to external load and if you look this from side it looks something like this here you can see that we have put this top stiffener here in the bottom we have not provided any stiffener okay but in this moment connection, end plate moment connection, there is no stiffener. Now the question is, why this type of stiffeners are provided and what are the benefit of providing this type of stiffener, okay. So you can say that stiffener is provided, that means you are trying to make this connection more rigid, right. So if you do not provide this stiffener, your connection is flexible but if you provide this stiffener in that case this connection become rigid clear now again the question arise what are the benefit i get if i provide a flexible connection over a rigid connection okay so simply consider this particular rigid so this is rigid connection why? Because here you have provided both the stiffeners. Okay. Now, if you have any moment like this, this is the tensile force, this is the compressive force. Okay. And the value of this tensile and compressive forces are simply the moment divided by this lever arm, that is T. Okay. Now, forget about this compressive force. If you simply consider this tensile force, it is being applied to the flange of the beam. Agree? Okay. So, if you simply cut this particular part and enlarge it, here you can see this is the flange. Okay. So, this is the flange. It is connected by weld to this end plate. This is the part of the end plate. Okay. So, this is the part of the end plate and this is the face of column flange. This is the face of column flange. And this end plate is connected with this column flange by using some bolt. And here, this is the tensile force acting in this flange. Okay. Now, what will happen? Due to this tensile force, this end plate try to come out along with this flange. This is the beam flange welded with this end plate. Now, if you apply this tensile force, this end plate try to bend with this flange okay but if you stiffen 
or if you make this rigid by providing stiffener both at the stop here you have provided the stiffener as well as at the bottom of the flange if you provide the stiffener you can say that we have provided the stiffener at the top only where is the stiffener in below of this flange well the wave itself act as the stiffener at the bottom of this flange right okay so this connection is completely rigid and due to this rigidity what happens the buckling or the bending of this end plate is very limited and due to this very nominal bending the distance or the curvature generated in this end plate is almost negligible as a result of which this particular tensile force in the flange is only counteracted by the resisting force of the bolt very simple okay you have a beam like this you are applying some load and you have some reaction so here is the tension you are applying and here is the reaction in the bolt very simple structure okay and if you consider the bending of this end plate it is the bending moment is something like this okay or you can say the curvature is uni curvature but instead of providing this rigid end plate moment connection if we provide a flexible end plate moment connection like this where there is no stiffener what will happen just let me here is this one let consider that we do not have any stiffener and now what will happen the deflection or the bending of the end plate will be much much larger the deflection is much much larger as a result what happens the end here you can see the edge or the end of this end plate if we have a end plate here okay just consider this is the end plate or you can say this is the end plate but in this case we do not have this stiffener we do not have so in that case what will happen this edge of the end plate or this edge of this end plate they apply some extra stress over the flange of the column this part also apply some extra stress over the flange of the column as a result what happen it also get back a reaction let's say this is q and why this reaction is coming because it has deformed or it has bent so much that it is applying some stress or the pressure over the flange of the column as a return it is getting back some extra force and this force is known as prying force okay so due to this prying force what is happening here if you simply convert this into a beam structure you can get so this is the beam initially this was the force tensile force applied so this was the reaction from bolt and again you are getting some extra reaction like this that is the prying force so now your bending moment diagram looks something like this right so this is your bending moment diagram here you can see so you can see that here the end plate is subjected to y curvature or dual curvature okay there is a two inflection point in this case the bending moment looks like this and now the end plate is behaving just like a continuous beam and due to this it will have two inflection point and as a result of which there is a high probability that this end plate may fail well before failure of the bolt that is the reason we provide the stiffener into end plate moment connection where this tensile force or the applied moment is much higher okay so that's it